Hey guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Today I want to show you how to use the selection tool. Um, the selection tool is a key component in creating composites. Um, what I'm going to show you here is how to remove a subject from the background and move them onto a new photo. Um, so we're going to use this um, today, like I said, to, to move them to a new photo, a new background, um, but you could also use this if you were doing a composite to combine multiple images to create, you know, your finished piece. So um, this is used all the time. Um, we use it in day-to-day -day editing even for um, swapping, like swapping ahead from one photo to the next. I'll include a link in the tutorial to how, to you, um, how you do that with layer masks. But um, for this particular one, let me show you how the selection tool is used. So the fourth one down um, from your tools on the left and make sure that the selection tool is the one that you have the quick selection, not the magic wand. Um, and you can resize your brush um, up here or you can hit the plus or minus on your bracket keys. Um, sorry, not the plus or minus. If you use the right bracket key, that's going to enlarge it. The left is going to make it smaller. Um, for your first selection, you want to make sure the plus selection is selected up here. So you're adding to your selection. The minus one is going to take away from the selection. Um, so I'm just clicking, holding down my mouse um, and selecting as much of her as I can. I chose this example because, um, or this photo, because of her hair. To me, the hair is the hardest thing to select from the background. So um, I'm going to show you how we go about doing that. Um, you know, the goal is to ultimately not have your photo look like it is cut and pasted um, or it looks too fake. So you want it to look as real as possible. So I'm selecting as much of her as I can. Um, and then from here, let me zoom in a little bit and get a little bit more. Um, and again, I use, sometimes I use smaller um, files if I don't have my hard drive with me. Um, I'll pull them off of our website or our Facebook page. Um, so when I zoom in sometimes on these pictures and the quality looks poor, that is why. You know, on, on our Facebook page and our website, we use smaller files. Um, that's a way to prevent people from trying to hijack your stuff and claim it as their own. Um, okay, so I've got most of it here. Let me get this last little bit. And then, um, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of going back and forth between the plus and minus key. If it selects a little bit too much that I don't want, then I go back to the minus and take that away. Um, so we'll fix this with the refine edge option. Um, let me take out this section here. Okay. So from here, well that just did not work. Um, from here, zoom back out. Um, if you select the, make sure you're back on the selection tool. So I had zoomed in and out. Um, which is why my zoom tool is the one you're looking at. Um, so when the selection um, tool is selected at the top, you'll see where it says select and mask. So click on that um, and it's going to bring this up. So right now this is what I have selected. Um, you can adjust the transparency to see um, you know, your subject separated away from the background. Um, you can show the edge if you want. You can do different views if you want the red to be. So sometimes, depending on the background that you have, um, it might be a little harder to see. So you can see these different ones. Um, I think that is usually the best. Um, usually I use the default, which is the onion skin there. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is refine the edges. So around her hair, around the crown, um, most of the dress should be okay. Um, but if I refine this, um, I'm just going to bump these up a little bit. 
and you want to make sure that the um, tool here is select. So we're grabbing the, um, you can see over here the different options that you have, the brush tool, refine edge brush tool, and the quick selection tool. So we already did the quick selection, so now we're going to refine the edge. Um, so to do this, you kind of just go around the edge, select as much as you can, and what that's going to do is it's going to pick up the little fine details along the edge that you may have missed. Um, so let me kind of go around here and make sure we got everything. And if it looks like it's erasing um, what you're trying to select, you may need to, to you know, watch here which one you're on, the plus or the minus. So one is going to add it and one's going to take it away. All right, there we go. Um, so around her hair, I'm going to pick up all of this. It takes it sometimes a second to grab it. Just trying to get all of those little strands. So, I think I've got see it's picking up those larger pieces there. Um, I want to get rid of this white area in here. There we go. Sometimes it's, I swear, like I, I think, you know, well you should be adding to the selection so you should use the plus tool and then it does the opposite. So it's a little finicky. Um, it takes some time to get used to it. I've used it a million times and even so sometimes I get frustrated. Um, let's pick up all of that. Let's get these pieces that get missed. What happens is with hair, if you don't get those pieces, um, it's really going to look, like I said, really cut and pasted. Okay, so I think we've got the majority of her um, I may have missed a spot here and there, but that should give you the basic idea. So from here, what you would do um, is just hit OK. Um, so she's all selected. Yeah, I missed a little string in there. Um, and you want to make sure your move tool is selected, the top one, or hit your letter N. Drag her out of here and onto whichever background you want. Um, I'm just using one of these for now. Hit enter, um, and there you can see she is now on her new background. Um, so from here, if you did see any little pieces um, that you needed to refine, you could zoom in and just erase those out with a low opacity eraser brush um, and clear up those little um, strands that you may have missed. But other than that, um, it should look pretty natural. Um, so from here, if you want to watch further tutorials on composites, um, I have some that's kind of that are a quick overview, and then multiple that are very in depth um, on our website. So thanks for thanks watching, for watching this video. guys. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course subscribe to our channel.